Now we can talk without Sub-Zero wind in our ears. Thank you. Not just for saving my guys. You got me out of Hoth. You have no idea how much I was starting to hate that planet. I found Hoth rather picturesque, actually. Digging graves out there takes the bloom off, I'm afraid. You know, I miss the rest of the unit already. Even Kree. But they're going home, and that's the important thing. They've earned it. Your friend Kaizen's something else. He was asking how many kills I've made? In Trandoshan society, an individual status is determined by hunting. Oh. Wonder what your status is if you say, I don't keep count. He's odd company for a Jedi Master. I've been posted all over, but I haven't met many Trandoshans. Or Jedi. I always think of Jedi Masters as being stationed on Tython, and being... Well, you are more hands-on than I expected. Do you object to someone adding a personal touch, Lieutenant? If you find that more satisfying, who am I to argue with a Jedi? At least your missions aren't as hair-raising as mine were. It's been years since I slept through the night without some crisis coming up. Trandoshans, Jedi, it's all good. I'm glad to be here. You know, I did some numbers. This could wind up being the longest assignment I've had in three years. Scary how time flies when your mind's on other things. Being around a fetching hologram must be distracting indeed. Uh, women I can literally see through don't do a lot for me. Meantime, I was hoping to get better acquainted with... the ship. It's got a lot of potential. A little mystery, too. I'm curious. If you're going to indulge your curiosity, perhaps I'll do the same. Who knows? We might even meet in the middle. Time might end up flying faster than I thought. Good news. One of my guys from Hoth got a promotion. Private Lavik made it to specialist. Please send him my congratulations. Thanks. I'll let him know. He's gone to Ord Mantell for training. I was there right after my transfer from... Felucia? No, Dantween. Ord Mantell. That posting was lousy. What were you doing there? We discovered a Separatist training camp. Me and another lieutenant were trying to break it up. But Lieutenant Jorgen had seniority, and he let me know it. Snap inspections, status reports. Every day he was up in arms about something. Discipline is the shield of both a soldier and a Jedi. I guess that's true. Maybe I'm being too hard on Jorgen. He was a good soldier. He's probably a general by now. We did the job and didn't lose a single man. Jorgen got a commendation. I got transferred to Sirocco, then to Duro, then Hoth. If it had been up to me, you'd have been properly compensated for your efforts. With you in charge, I'd have been too distracted to earn any reward. Glad I'm not being transferred this time. I hope. I was hoping you'd have time for a quick strategy session. I was running a few scenarios. Repelling a boarding party, what if someone gets captured, stuff like that. I was wondering what your preferred tactics are. Why waste time, Lieutenant? Better to strike to the heart of the matter. There is another scenario I haven't solved yet. Say a soldier found himself captivated by a superior force. What should he do? If he truly wanted the upper hand, he would have to exploit any chance he was given. I... you know what? It was pretty disrespectful of me to say that. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're a Jedi Master. A female Jedi Master? Who has thoughts and feelings that have nothing to do with the Force? I thought maybe I felt this way because I was still dealing with Hoth, but Hoth's over and that feeling's still here. I look at you and it's like I can see the places you've been, the mark you've left. I want to know more. It's not right to see a Jedi that way, but I do. The Force binds all things. Does acknowledging that bond make it evil? Well, let's see. Something new for you to meditate on. Uh, can we talk for a minute? There's something I think you should know about me. I'd like to know everything about you. I'd better start here then. A few years ago I was captured by the Empire. I was scouting an Altier with my friend Milo, and we ran into an Imperial strike team. I woke up in an Imperial cell with a headache. I remember Private Kree saying something about you being captured. 
Yeah, once he found out, he never got tired of needling me about it. When I managed to escape and reach a Republic ship, I realized I'd lost time. Seven days. Whatever happened to me is still a blank. There are Jedi techniques to recall lost or repressed memories. They tried, but all I got was stuff I've tried to forget. Medically, I'm fine, but my commanders don't like it, so I get shuffled around wherever they need an extra blaster. That's why I keep being reassigned. I just thought you should know. I appreciate knowing this. Better you hear it from me than someone else. You know what bothers me most? Milo Pelham, the guy who was with me on Altier, got captured too. But no one ever saw him again. I guess I was the lucky one. I've been thinking. If we take this any further, the Jedi Council's gonna find out. Jedi aren't supposed to get involved, right? Will you get a reprimand? If the Jedi is trustworthy and shows good judgment, the Council tends to be lenient. <laughs> Not a ringing endorsement, but better than I thought. That's what Republic civvies always focus on about the Jedi, being alone. Truth is, I don't know much about the Jedi, but I'd like to. Wherever we go, we know the full living and growing all, all around us. It gives you a great appreciation for life. You sound so... I wish I could see what you see. Don't give up your secrets all at once. I want to find some out for myself. Remember I told you about Milo Pelham, who vanished when we were captured by the Empire? After we talked, I put his name out, in case he had a wife or kids he hadn't mentioned. Instead, I found out he was arrested on Tatooine a few weeks ago. He actually made it. That is truly excellent news. I can't believe he's alive. But Milo's being held for destruction of private property. Anchorhead authorities said he's been acting nutty since he was arrested. They had to isolate him. Milo was a rock. Something's wrong. If we spoke to him, there might be something I could do. You read my mind again. I can get him out, but there's a hitch. The property Milo destroyed was a starship. Owner's a gangster, and he's a little upset. So the authorities aren't too happy about setting Milo free. Gangsters tend to spread their anger around. Exactly. I wrote up a signed character reference for Milo. Could you sign it too? A Jedi Master's endorsement would really speed things along. It's my duty to help anyone who's been unjustly imprisoned. Thank you. This means a lot. I'll send it to Tatooine, along with Milo's bail. All these years I thought he was dead. What happened to him out there? I got word from Tatooine. Six holocalls, a few payments to the right people, and Milo's a free man. All I need to do is meet him in his security escort at Anchorhead, but Milo's still in a bad way. We shouldn't keep him waiting. I appreciate it, but I should probably take this one. If Milo's really unstable, too many people might scare him. I'll take a shuttle to Tatooine and see Milo get somewhere safe. Shouldn't risk him hurting himself or blowing up someone else's starship. Thinking he was dead. It was almost easier than this. Atros Finn, a Jedi researcher on Coruscant, once treated my master. His experience may be useful. It's worth a shot. Don't worry. I'll make sure I'm ready for trouble before I move out. See you soon. I got Milo off Tatooine okay, but heck, I don't even know where to start. Milo was trying to talk to me, but he couldn't get the words out. He kept using other languages, equations even, like his mind was shattered. No one deserves to suffer like that. I tried asking him about when we were captured, if he knew anything. If I understood him right, Milo said a doctor came into his cell. She showed him a glowing box. That's when it all went wrong inside his head. Thing is... Milo said this doctor used that box on me, too. The doctor, this box she had, none of it seems familiar? Nope. And I'm guessing that box is the reason why. So Milo's lady doctor used a glowing box on both of us. I lose seven days of memory, and Milo loses his mind. A glowing box. Maybe a new Imperial torture device. There are ancient relics that fit that description, too. You're the expert, but me and Milo were nobodies. Why use an artifact on us? I think Milo tracked the doctor to Tatooine. He thought the starship he blew up was hers. He gave me a picture, assuming it's actually her, 
that might give us a lead. I'll see what I can find out. Any chance I can use the ship's long-distance communication system for about an hour? The ship is your home too. Feel free. Great. Thanks. I want to put Milo's Lady Doctor into the Republic's database. I keep studying her picture, but... nothing. I'm hoping it can jog something about her or that glowing box. I'm close, practically seeing her in my sleep. Has her face triggered anything? No. Everything between Altir and waking up in that cell is still a big fat blank. I'll let you know if anything comes back to me. Still no luck with the doctor's picture. I think it's time to admit defeat. You must be the judge of that. I won't give up looking for her, but I don't want to turn into Milo either. Her picture's in the Republic database, so I'm going to delete my copy. I've done all I can. Sorry I haven't been giving you the attention you deserve. Are we okay? You're sweet when you're worried. Careful. Give away your weaknesses and who knows what might happen. Hey, I have a surprise for you. Four hours, 34 minutes, and 11 seconds. And to what do I owe this surprise? No reason. I thought you could use some R&R, &R, so I arranged a little circuitry fault in the ship's doors. You'll have about four hours of peace and quiet in your quarters. Time to read or meditate or whatever you like. You wouldn't leave me with just my studies for company, would you? I never want you to feel lonely. You're so beautiful. All that emotional control? It was just waiting for the right moment. I'm glad I was here for it. Sometimes those right moments can arrive in quick succession. <laughs> Hold that thought. Just for now, give me a chance to surprise you all over again. That's quite the fighting style you have. Looks like you sneaked a few combat manuals in amongst the history texts. There is poetry and logic in battle. I'm used to fighting in squads. Constant redeployments taught me to sink fast with whoever's at my shoulder. Now you, you know your tactics, but you're not afraid of your gut instinct either. I've tightened down my style to match. Might make the Imperials think twice the next time we're cornered. You're not gonna believe this. Remember Milo's talk about a glowing box and the lady doctor he was chasing? That lady doctor turns out to be real. She sent me a message. Lieutenant Irasso, my name is Dr. Sarah Frey. I hear you've been looking for me. I've fled the Empire. Your search has put me in grave danger. But I imagine you won't be satisfied until you have answers. I am responsible for Milo Pelham's instability and your suffering. I could not refuse a Darth's orders. Sounds like the Sith are involved in this. The Sith Lord I once served, Darth Ausel, is a great scholar. He even advises the Dark Council. His speciality is ancient holocrons. What's a holocron? Holocrons contain ancient knowledge. To the untrained eye, they match Milo's description. The Dark Council trusted Darth Ausel to decipher a rare holocron for them, but Ausel saw a chance to keep its knowledge for himself. He wanted to copy the holocron into a person's mind. The matrix of a holocron is far too complex to be mapped onto a person's brain. Darth Ausel requisitioned two prisoners from the Empire. You, Lieutenant Aresso, and your friend. The initial procedure was imperfect. Milo Pelham's mind simply collapsed under so much knowledge. But you were a great success. A great success? She had a Sith library in my head. Dr. Frey must have sealed the Holocron's data from your conscious mind somehow. Any Sith would kill for that Holocron's knowledge. But no one will know it's there unless you tell them. All I have said is the truth. Now, please remove my image from your public database. I won't be safe until then. Lieutenant Felix. That's your name, isn't it? I'm... I'm sorry. She's asking me to keep her safe? At least she's got a blasted sense of humor. She obviously regrets her actions. Show the compassion she couldn't, and help her. You're way more forgiving than I am. Okay, I'll see it gone. I need to think. Excuse me. The 
This must be torture for you, huh? A library of ancient knowledge in my head and no way to reach it without me going crazy. Felix, we don't know what the Holocron's knowledge could do to you. Hey, hey, it's all right. Nothing's changed, okay? I won't pretend I like this. It's a massive risk for both of us. But I've carried this data for years and never knew a thing. And I have you. If anyone could keep me from madness, it's you. Whatever's ahead, I love you. And we can work through it. I love you too. However this turns out, I'm still yours. I swear. I need to talk to you. What we have. I've never felt this way about anyone. I can't stop thinking about you. Your scent, your smile. I want you to be mine. It's all right, Felix. I sensed your feelings long before, and returned them. You're everything I want. So, I was doing some thinking. And my thinking is, this is the best posting I've ever had. So you'd say this mission has been uniquely memorable? Absolutely. I want you to know I'm with you to the end. Win or lose, I'd rather be your lieutenant than a Republic colonel. Doesn't matter what comes next for us. I've got your back. You ever think about the future? I refuse to believe a Jedi doesn't have plans. There must be so much forgotten lore out there, waiting to be discovered. I always try to think a few steps ahead. If you want things to turn out right, you gotta make it happen. That's what we're fighting for. People being free to make plans and live however they want. Like settling down somewhere with their beautiful Jedi Master. Are you proposing? Yes. I am. I love you. I want to spend my life with you. If you'll have me. There's nothing I'd like more. Then... Then one day we'll have a huge ceremony. On Titan. Or wherever you'd like and invite everyone. But for now, take my promise. I'm yours, Barson Thor of the Jedi. Forever. May we always cherish each other. Remembering the lives we now leave behind. And joyful for the life we begin together. You always know just what to say. <laughs>